So, um, as a Martha Fishionado, the puff matchup uh, requires patience, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, fortunately for the moon, something he has uh, in spades, uh, at least most of the time. That's true. And, you know, we've seen him struggle in some uh, floating matchups previously. Most, okay, we missed rest. I guess it's good to go for those at such a low percent. Um, you won't be punished by death at the very least. Yeah. And uh, the moon opting to go for a shield breaker and not trying to do anything too fancy. That's a nice reaction from Smash Buff. He sees the moon commit by jumping into the air. Wow. Oh, there's tipper. the pace. It's oh, my God. I can't believe he actually survived that. Good DI. But uh, always thinking one step ahead uh, is the moon. Uh, he recognized that there was nothing else that Jigglypuff could do but air dodge, so he waited for it and then landed a tipper. Uh, speaking of fourth matches, yeah, Smash Bob for two times uh, already this set has put himself in a position where he can react to a jump or a committal move from the moon, expecting Smash Bob to take off. Instead, he forward smashes it and knocks him off the stage. Good job mixing up his options. And uh, edge guard situations is perhaps one of the uh, more drawn out aspects of this matchup. Yep. If you do not kill Jigglypuff uh, as Mark, you're going to be uh, playing a bit more of a uh, maybe Brawl Smash 4 situation. Yes. As opposed to uh, the typical melee circumstance you used to. Up tilt rest. <coughs> Kills off the top too, so that's not going to be a punish. Smash Bob up a complete stock. Uh, we saw a forward tilt from the moon, and that's something we've been calling after the moon all weekend. Not as strong as a forward smash, but it comes out much quicker, and as you've noted several times, it comes out from the feet. And only a couple of Mars moves do that, including his forward tilt and his jab. Yes, most of the Mars attacks actually start behind his head. Yes. Uh, I've likened uh, Mark to Achilles often. Uh, a lot of times, he doesn't protect his ankles. <laughs> it's a very vulnerable spot. Another up tilt. Wow, and he, he reads, reads the, the roll. roll. You know, I think we saw that same thing from him yesterday. Yes. And he DI'd the, the fourth match, so. Smash Pop Square Pants is off to a wonderful start again. An electrifying the start, yeah. Able to find the rests and the forward smashes to empty stocks. Yeah, I think the moon went for a fourth row pivot forward smash there. Didn't get the pivot. Very, very tight window. Yeah, not landing in a safe spot. He takes some damage. This is all bad for the moon right now. Every damage he takes is going to make it just that much harder. Okay. Mr. Lair is going to finish it, but... Yeah, unconventional follow-up. You have to be able to find those at those high percents. It could be difficult for Mark to kill. And once again, there's that fourth smash. He just keeps getting caught by it. Yeah, surprised we didn't see a uh, back throw from Smash Bob. Throwing Marth off stage, maybe to finish the edge guard, or at least put him in a bad position. They've had a read on uh, what's going to do on the platform. And this, uh, that's the that's game one. The first, yeah. Smash Bob with a pop off already. Yeah, two stock against the moon. Wow, the moon a uh, top 30 player in the world. Uh, Smash Bob, not well known, he takes the first game here in the top eight. Uh, uh, we should note, uh, every match is best of five here. And uh, top eight, as you would expect at this point. Yes. Uh, but we, can see, we can see that the Moon's preferred counterpick Yoshi story. Um, it helps leverage Mars kill power a little bit more. He doesn't have quite as much of a problem on this stage as he does on the others. Yes. It provides some relief to uh, what's <coughs> known as Marthritis. Yes. Inflammation of the Marth. Yes, inflammation. <laughs> it's actually inflammation of the opponent's percent uh, is what happens. Yes. Uh, this is one of the few stages where Marth can actually net some guaranteed kills on non-tippers. <laughs> Yeah, you uh, very rarely will see up airs off the top, or airs off the top on other stages. But it actually works at sort of reasonable percents uh, here on Yoshi's Story. That's something that the Moon practices very often, is uh, throw follow-ups against Jigglypuff and other floaty characters. Yeah, we've, uh, we saw in pools the Mark take out a, a Jigglypuff, not quite the caliber of Smash Bob, but uh, pretty proficient. There's that off the top kill from the forward that you were talking about. Yeah, you know what? The moon keeps sort of floating in the air. It looks like he's trying to float the spot just outside of Smash Bob's drift off of takeoff, and he's ready to s pounce with the forward air at any given opportunity. That was a huge up air string. Yeah, looking like Fox. Yeah, he gets the drill up smash. These are big conversions. That's going to kill. Yeah, able to even up the game. Yeah, the moon only able to net 8% out of that stock uh, advantage.
Okay, the Noon um, guarding center stage very carefully with those drift forward airs that we were talking about. <coughs> and uh, down tilts to cover the ground as well. Oh, down air tipper. That's going to end the stock real fast at 60%. It looked like he was holding away, hoping to make it out of the uh, effective range. Yeah, but I think he was trying to slide off the platform. Instead, he gets, uh, and I think he did, and that was part of the issue. Yeah. Good cognizance from the moon. Where of exactly where Jiggy Puff's going to go. Okay, looks like the moon was scouting out the ledge. Uh, down tilts. I've noticed the moon has started to... Uh, Mix up his uh, what he does in a knockdown situation. Yes, yes. Uh, because uh, I don't, you know, I won't speak for Smash Bob, but without a lot of data, he was getting some really heavy roll reads. He might have been studying his opponent. Yes, uh, as you would expect. And you know, the Moon does not study his opponents. In fact, he prefers to go into the match not knowing who he has to play. Yes. He also prefers not to over-practice. Uh, he likes to warm up for just maybe a half hour before the match uh, at the most. And I think part of the reason is um, this is one of the most um, adaptation-heavy players probably around. Um, you'll see very often in these long sets he'll lose the first game and then change up his play style little by little until he is taking apart the opponent, just picking him apart. Yeah, and as you can see, this is night and day compared to the first game. Yeah, it is on Yoshi's story, so they go, oh, wow. Yes. He almost died at like 20 from that That would have been the lowest percent kill I've ever witnessed. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Yoshi's story, so it actually is night and day. It's nighttime in Battlefield, you know, daylight here. Um... But he seems to have, have made some strategic... Wow, a speaking of strategic... He's right back in it! Uh, Timber, uh, or maybe not right back in it. He still has a percent deficit, but with the um, rest setups that we've been seeing from Smash Bob so regularly, looks like he's crouching, trying to scout out a grab. Yeah, he could very easily land a... Uh, well, he does! He gets the other game, he pops off, his headset falls off as well. I cannot believe he got that rest follow-up. The moon, his back to the edge, he may be getting 7th place if he loses one more game. This would be a one of the most, um, I'd say, shocking and, and surprising upsets of the entire year. Yeah, not just the tournament. Not just the tournament, uh, the whole year. There are a lot of people who have no idea who Smash Bob is. And that was so clutch. He was down three stocks to one on Yoshi's story. Um, Marth could just keep Puff out and trade and almost win that. Uh, so it did take those two clutch rests in order to come back. Yeah, of course, that's one of the strengths of Jigglypuffs. Okay, Pivot Tipper, that's one of the strengths of Marth. Yeah. Uh, that technology started to emerge, I believe, in like 2013, 14-ish. Yeah, and I remember um, I first saw it in popular use at Apex 2015 in Pew Pew versus Hungrybox. Yes, yes, yes. Um, a set that Pew Pew, I think, actually won. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, his first, and I believe, only victory over Hungrybox. Okay, he grabs, and grabbing is so dangerous, and it looks like Smash Bob is starting to adapt. He's crouching a lot right in front of Marth, trying yeah, to bait it really, out. He's really, really fishing for that grab. Okay, up beat. Up beat. He's so creative. Um, yeah, I think that Smash Bob, even if the moon does recognize that he's crouching more often and stops grabbing, that's still a win for Smash Bob, because yeah. uh, not being grabbed by Marth means that those pivot tipper setups will vanish. Yeah, and uh, you've completely nullified one of Marth's biggest strengths, that's his grab range. Yeah, once again, we see the moon jumping just a little too close. This is something you don't see from other puffs. Smash Bob waits for the jump and uses the forward smash on the way down. Yeah. I think only Hungry Box really, uh, maybe Prince of Boo sometimes uh, also. Uh, other than that, you don't see a lot of puffs use it. Not entirely common. We've seen it a lot during this set. And once again, you see a lead for the moon, but we've seen already uh, that can change in an instant. Yeah, I believe that uh, Tipper as well as up tilt from Puff on these platforms, if the Puff is proficient enough at shield dropping, you can shield drop rest yes. from the platform. All right, really up tilt's going to... All right, so once again, we have the same situation, mirror situation. Three stocks to one. But uh, you cannot count out Smash Bob. No, he's uh, shown time and time again. He can get these reads on the platforms. I guess he might not... Probably didn't want to rest anyway. Um, well, he's now starting to get 10% where rest may be off the table. Yeah, he'll have to combo and punish other ways. Ooh, DI right. mix up. Okay, so we do get one three stock from the moon. And you know, usually a three stock will turn the momentum entirely around. But Smash Bob was so explosive the first two games with those comebacks, it feels like anything is possible. So we're probably going to get a Dreamland. Uh, might get two Dreamlands. 
Yes, probably. And he's probably also thinking about stages like Fountain of Dreams or Battlefield. Um, the tight spaces, it seems like the moon wasn't so comfortable in them. He was jumping a little too close to Jigglypuff, and that was where the forward smash was coming from. But right. we do get a Dreamland pick. Yeah, definitely the uh, most obvious counter pick. Um, Jigglypuff, even being one of the latest characters in the game, um, lives a long time on Dreamland against Marth. You have to really find the temper setups. Yeah, especially if you can uh, get to those Marthritis percents. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to uh, die any lower than that on a stage like Dreamland. That's where the, I think the killing problem really comes from. So it's going to, we have a bit of a mountain to climb for Misfits the Moon. Yes, but as you before mentioned, the Moon, no stranger to these, uh, to these kind of situations. Uh, and there's the bait on the grab and the rest. No tipper forward smash. I don't think it would have killed anyway. And uh, Smash Bob positioning himself for the upset. And he's up game four. Uh, once again, against one of the top North players in the world. And uh, th this is the part where if you're Smash Bob, you really just have to stay focused. Uh, we've seen people, uh, players, uh, even at this very tournament, uh, go up against a, a higher ranked player and suddenly uh, right when the opportunity is presented for the major upset the wheels fall off the wagon yeah I mean the worst thing you can think is hey I'm about to be one of the best Marth players you have yes. to just keep playing your game the way you have it that's what got you there okay that back throw could be huge yep early up B nice little mix up on the recovery from Alright, so stocks are even, 67% on the moon, not too much. As you mentioned before, the moon, uh, almost famous for going down sometimes 2-0 uh, and then winning three games straight. I've seen him do it against uh, players like uh, Swedish Delight, for example, Yeah. Uh, and or Crush. Uh, so it's not a it's not an impossible situation. He has he has a, a good navigation system. He'll find out he'll figure out where he's going eventually, uh, most of the time. And it seems like a instrumental to his game plan right now is he is really holding the center with those uh, floating forward airs. The difference now is he is mixing up sort of like a long range tomahawk wave dash forward down tilt in order to stop. Uh, Smash Bob from being so dangerous, so easily um, stopping him from being able to punish the jump so easily with things like forward smash. There's another one. But you know what? I think the Moon's kind of happy with that stock. Um, he was able to attack on 60 damage um, from zero, and he was uh, rather high. So he's chip, chip, chipping away on this lead. Yeah, you have to be very uh, active, but passive almost simultaneously. Yeah. Uh, he's keeping him to the right side of the stage, or he was hoping to. Uh, given the survivability increase, I think he was hoping to perhaps get a grab close to the edge of the stage that uh, hopefully uh, he can set up a pivot and uh, end the stock earlier. Otherwise, you're going to see a lot of what you've been seeing. Yeah, I mean, both players uh, showing the full extent of their patience at this point. Uh, we yes. are kind of on pace for a timeout, um, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean we're going there. Usually the player behind, when we start to get to the like two-minute marks, recognizes what they have to do. That forward smash, what a beautiful stock for the moon. Takes him from 60 and uh, one hit at a time all the way to death, only getting hit once that entire time. Uh, that's what Marth has to do. Just keep Puff out and don't give her a chance. But when Smash Bob does get his chance, these are the types of things that happens. He's done a really good job of getting these up air streaks. Okay, so the moon makes his way out of the puff vortex. Maybe not. <laughs> back in. Okay. Back into the back air vortex. Yeah, it seems that these um, tomahawk down tilts are being scouted out by spaced back airs from Smash Bob. Yeah, if you time it, um, you should win that situation every time. Oh, he had no yep. jump. Yep, he's just been staying out of that wave dash range. Um, so it'll be interesting to see exactly what the moon does about that microspacing interaction. Yeah. Right uh, now, the moon potentially on his tournament stock. Yeah, his last stock of the tournament, the third seed, um, threatened to get seventh place here. I think he was third. Second or third. Uh, I think he was third. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he was. 
So far, he's doing a good job of not taking too much uh, percent, but if you're Smash Bob, well, it looks like he's uh, prepared to play the long game, as you can see, but and you I almost wonder if you don't want to try to close it out if you can. Obviously, you don't want to force anything. But. Yeah. I mean, at this point, it's what's been working for Smash Pop. He goes for the roll read again. He was reading. He was scouting that roll to the right. Um, I think he's recognized that the moon likes to roll away on the platform from Jigglypuff. It is the most difficult to cover, but if you hard cover it, you can use a rest. Yeah, and it looked like he was preparing himself to hard cover it there, but the moon mixing up his options. is struggling to find a way to get a clean hit on Smash Bob. He does not want to trade anymore. He gets the up B. Oh, and he gets a kill. That is a stock. We get an explicative from Smash uh, Bob uh, at the end of that stock. He did not expect that to kill. He didn't know he couldn't get so close. Oh, this could be a big combo. Okay, just narrowed the forward air. If he DI'd that incorrectly, it may have ended with the Ken combo. And we're getting close to the two minute warning. Yeah, like I said, uh, just a little behind pace. But you know what, at this point, the t players tacking on so much damage to each other, it is anyone's game. Smash Bob opportunity. Goes for a forward smash, not able to get it. That roll-in was dangerous. Could have been rested. Oh, no jumps in the area. Jigglypuff, this is not where you want to be if you're the moon. Able to find his way to the edge. Can he find his way back to center stage? Smash Bob yielding just a little bit. He goes for the forward grab. Smash that forward smash going to does do it. it. Smash Bob square pants taking out Misfits the moon. Wow, uh, he can hardly believe it. Um, many of us are in the same place as him. Uh, what an upset. Uh, congratulations. Um, first off to the moon, making top eight, but also Smash Bob. Wow. Um, upset city here at Momocon. This is our third big one we've had within the last um, round or two. There is something.